Hi, Gabby. Hi, how are you, teacher? Fine, how are you? Um, really good. Just I have a I have a problem. I'm not at home now, so my internet it's not really good. So I'll be the whole class, but with my camera off. Perfect. Is it a problem? No, no, no. It's fine. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Thank you. Yes, those things happen sometimes. Very good. Hello, Doris. Teacher, hi. Hi. ¿Qué me le pasa? No, estoy cansada. <laughs> All right, sí, le tocó pesadito. Sí, pero todo bien. All right, very good. Okay, me escuchan. Yes, really good. Mensaje que no me oía. All right, no, ya estuvo. All right, hi Daniel, hi Johnny. Hi teacher. Very nice. Hi, Domingo. Maria Gab. Well, Gabi, ya la habíamos saludado. Lynn. Hi, teacher. Hello. And I also have Trini. And yeah, very good. Ajá, uh Johnny, -huh. ¿cómo le fue en el colegio ahora? So, so. ¿Y por qué se pone a pensar, Johnny, así como? Mm. <laughs> yes. Um, desde que llegué hasta que salí solo en clases. Uy, en serio. Yes. Only one break or 20 minutes. Wow, Johnny, really? Yes. Ok. ¿Y este es su día más ocupado? ¿Todos los días le toca así? No, martes y jueves. Ah, ok. All right. Hmm. Yes, that's the life of a teacher, right, Johnny? Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, let's see. We also have Walter is here, Debbie, Vanessa, and Trini. Yes, very good. Um, Saben que se me había eh, olvidado, pasado por alto, solo recordarles. Siempre pongan su nombre completo según Dewey cuando inicien o ingresen a la, plataforma, a la clase, ¿verdad? Para por cuestiones de auditoría. Así que si pueden poner su nombre completo, sería genial. Si no, yo igual se los puedo cambiar desde acá para que lo tengamos y no nos genere ningún inconveniente. All right. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Yesterday, we were talking a little bit about fun boys. All right. We, um, we have those conjunctions. Remember that they use or they join words, they join sentences, they join ideas, pero tienen que ser igual. All right? Yo no puedo unir un verbo y un nombre. All right? Tengo que unir dos nombres. Por ejemplo, I like apples and bananas. All right? So, no tiene sentido si yo le digo I like Jump and bananas. All right. It doesn't make any sense. You have to join the same thing or the same structures. All right. Now, a ver, sin ver ningún material, no vea su cuaderno, su libro, ni nada. Fun boys. La F is for what, guys? For. Or, for. Right. what about the A? And. And, very good. The N. No more. Excuse me. Nor. Nor, yes. Okay. What else? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Be, be, because. Be, but. Mm -hmm. uh, but. But, 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 right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hold on. All right. So we have those ones. Those are the. Oh that we need to use. A ver. Just give me one second, guys. I want to show you this one. I think it's this. Give me a second. I just need to see something. These are the ones I want to share with you. This is the one. Okay, I'm going to show you this PPT. 
so you guys can follow me better si en caso les quedaba alguna duda or anything related to it. So, let me share my screen with you here. Eso nos da tiempo de tomar la asistencia ya cuando esté la mayoría. All right. Oh, Roberto is here. Ever is here. Mariano Bismar, very good. Hello. Carlita, Okay, so I'm going to share right now. All right, I want you to follow me with this right now here. So here we have a coordinating conjunctions, okay? So, mira lo que dice aquí, is how we link words, phrases, and sentences, okay? Now, what are coordinating conjunctions? A ver, Daniel, help me read, please. Daniel? Okay, yes, they are special words that are used to link to words, phrase or sentence. All right, there are special words that are used to link to words, phrases or sentences. Debbie, can you read all the examples, please? Okay. Mary and Peter went to Florida. She stopped, stopped, how do you Stood up, yes, 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 stood up. She stood up and left the room. This movie was really long, but I liked it. She will call her or she will write a letter. I had a call, so I stay home. Very good. All right. So here, if you notice, thank you, Debbie. All right. For example, on the first one, it says Mary and Peter went to Florida. All right. So we have proper nouns. Mary, Peter. She stood up and left. El stood up y el left, ¿qué son? Este stood up and ¿qué es left? Como que se levantó y se fue, no, o, o se puso de pie y se fue, no. La posición. No, ¿qué sería esto rápido? ¿Qué sería la? Complemento. Estado. Un, una acción. Es una acción, Debbie, muy bien. ¿Y la otra acción? ¿Llamamos qué? Up y left the room. ¿Qué es esto rápido? ¿Y qué es la? Es una acción, dice Debbie, ajá, pero muy bien, pero le llamamos como. Verbo. Es un verbo, muy bien, very good, all right. Entonces, en este caso usamos stood up y left son iguales, all right. Entonces, we use the, the uh, conjunction, coordinating conjunction at. This movie was really long, all right, but I like it. En el caso de but, podemos usar Otras cosas, porque acuérdese que es contrario. All right. It's really long, but I like it. Era muy largo, pero me gustó la, la, la película en este caso. All right. She will call or she will write a letter. Igual tenemos to, like in this case, verbs. All right. Entonces, vamos viendo que vamos uniendo parecidos. Okay. Let's go on with the next one. What are some conjunctions in English? The most common conjunctions are and, but, so, yet, or. Esas son las más comunes. Ahí nos falta, ¿cuáles nos falta ahí? Nor. Ajá, ¿y cuál otra? Or. or. All right, no es que no se ocupe. All right, pero estas de las eh, fanboys, estas cinco se ocupan más. Okay, so we're going to explore how they are used. Can I use a conjunction to link anything? Veamos lo que dice aquí, part one. A ver, Mariano, can you please read it, please? <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty sure. Can I use a conjunction to link anything? Uh, as long as the two things you are linking belong to the same grammatical groups, you may use a conjunction. For example, Mary and Peter are getting married. Mary and Peter are both nouns, so you may put them together with the conjunctions, but. Excellent, very good, Mariano. All right, regresemos al inicio y dice, as long 
media vez. As long as the two things you're linking belong to the same grammatical group. Así como vimos anteriormente, Mary and Peter son nombres propios, all right? Uh, stood up and left son verbos, ambos, all right? So as long as they belong to the same grammatical group, it's okay to use the conjunction. But, continue ahí, Bismar. Bismar, ayer no estuve en clase, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Okay, all right, that's okay. okay. All right, continue. Can, can I use a conju conjunction to link anything or two do you think this is okay peter left and mary mm -hmm. a ver esa está esa oración está correcta peter left and mary is that correct no no why not no en el mismo grupo gramatical all right yes all right so left and mary they don't go together you can say como la arreglaríamos left Peter, Peter, and Mary Mary left. Left. Peter and Mary left. All right, very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Continue, please, with um, Johnny. Can I use conjunctions to link anything for two and a half, Johnny? Hmm? Uh, I don't understand, teacher. El que, Johnny, perdón. Uh, no entendí si tenía que leer o... Please read, yes. Oh, sorry. No, okay. This sentence does not work because left is a verb and Mary is a noun. noun. Let practice that concept. Very good. Okay. Entonces, en el ejemplo anterior estaba malo porque... All right, because you cannot have a verb and a noun. I mean, left is a verb and Mary is a noun. And la, la posición no estaba correcta. All right, let's see. Um, Ever, can you continue reading, please? Are these sentences good? Yes, teacher. Are these sentences good? Answer yes or no. Analyze the response. Number one, Paul and Julia went to the movies. Number two, my sister saw or in the backyard. Number three, she has grades, so she will go to the college. Number four, she can run fast but my brother and number five we decide we would go we would go to the park but she cried okay thank you ever all right i want you to analyze these five sentences are these sentences okay or they are the or they have mistakes can you check yeah like read one by one and tell me if they are correct. The number one is correct. Number one is correct. Paula and Julia went to the movies. All right, what about number two? Incorrect. All right. All right, okay, is incorrect? Yes. All right, what about number three? Incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Why? Correct. 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 She has a good grace, so I she will go to college. Grace, la consecuencia is she will go to college. She will go to university, right? So I think correct. What about correct. Yes. 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 What about number four? She can run fast, but my brother. Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh. No incorrect. Yes. All right, number five. Correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 For me, correct. All right. Por qué lloro ella no sé, pero es grammar. Teacher. All right. Hola. Bada coma. Ah, ya, yeah, claro. Ahorita todavía ya. Yeah. O sea, ahí también nos falta la coma. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see. ¿Qué se la comió? <laughs> All right, 
veamos el Uy, no, me adelanté mucho. ¿Dónde hay uno? Oh, my goodness, what did I do? I don't know what I did. Hold on. Oops. Es jueves. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ya, ya me ubiqué. <laughs> Ok, entonces lo que estábamos viendo es que esas oraciones, una de ellas de verdad que they were not correct, ok, because it made no sense. So that's why to use the right conjunction is necessary. That's why it's important to know the meaning. If you don't know the meaning, usted la va a escribir, pero al final la oración no le va a tener ningún sentido. All right, so we need to be careful with that, ok. Now, let's continue with. Uh, this part right here, Akira. All right, now, how are we going to you? Hey, dale, que inicia ahora. My goodness, guys, esta compu no me quedó. What did I do today? Here, uh, all right. The conjunction and. The conjunction and is used to link two words, phrases, or sentences that are to be taken together. I love tea and chocolate. She saw me and laughed. Jorge and Lisa are moving to Chicago. So here we're like adding more information or more items to the sentence. That's the whole thing. All right, now, or. Veamos ahí. Or, alguien, Walter, can you please read, uh, help me to read this? The conjunction or is used to link things that are to be taken separately. Separately, very good. Continue with the examples. Do you want to, do you want tea or coffee? I will to go to the party or will read a book. Mm -hmm. She asked, we, she asked Bill or John to the prom. All right, very good. So we know that in the case of or, right, we, are, we use it to link things that are to be taken separate. All right, in this case, you said, do uh, you want tea or um, coffee? Do you like English or French? All right, do you go by bus or by car? All right, so we have those ones right there. Then we have, but, all right, Doris, can you please read this one? The conjunction but is used to introduce a contract between the two elements that are linked. Note, this cannot be used to link two nouns together. She loves him, but he is mean. Is someone mean expect to be lovely? This book was very long, but interesting. Our long books expect to be interesting. All right, very good. Thank you, Doris. All right, so remember, but is to show contrast, all right, between two things that you're talking about, all right? Two things that are being linked, but is the contrast, all right? You can say, oh, I like English, but it's difficult, all right? But you like it anyway, all right? That doesn't mean you're going to stop, all right? Then we have this one, yet similar to... Similar to but, all right. Carlita, can you continue reading this one? Number one, teacher. Sure. So they say yet, so look at say similar to but. Okay, yeah, similar to but, the, con the conjunction yet is used to express a uh, contrast in the relation in relationship between one element and another. She told my secret to Erica, yet I chose to be her friend. It will be logical for me to deci decide not to be her friend. Mm -hmm. Her death was a uh, her dad was a idiot. Uh -huh. Okay, Jet. Lydia had a good time. All right, okay. All right. Very it will be logical to think Lydia had a bad time if her dad 
was an idiot. All right. So it's very similar to but. All right. In Spanish, you can say pero or aún. All right. So you can use either or translation if you want to. All right. And then we have this one right here. It says so. Uh, let me see. Um, Gabby, do you want to read that one for me? Yes, um, the conjunction so is used to express a consequence or effect of one element or another. They, we, they were in love, so they got married. They got married as a consequence of being in love. Carol was annoyed, so she left the body. She left as a consequence of being annoyed. Perfect, thank you. All right, so we have this. Um, as we said at the beginning, these from the fun boys, all right, these um, conjunctions that we just talked about or so, they're like the most popular ones or the most common ones, all right? I'm going to stop sharing right now. I'm going to take the attendance and then we can continue with this. And we're going to go on with the uh, restaurant vocabulary here. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. All right, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present, teacher. Tengo un problema en el, con el audífono. Ah, ok, Carlos, no se preocupe. A ver, eh, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present, teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Cruces Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Uh, Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Gloria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Thank you, Victoria. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Thank you. All right, perfect. Okay. Recuerde en lo que en la medida de lo posible de eh, encender su camarita. That would be very, very nice. Ok, so eh, entiendo en el caso de um, Gaby, ya me explicó. All right, y los demás tal vez después sí puedan hacerlo. All right, very good. So let's continue here, guys. I don't know if you have any questions about these conjunctions that we were talking about. Or everything is clear with the conjunctions. No? Teacher, uh, I need other, other explain, uh, explanation. Uh, yes, explanation. Uh, the conjunction join words and verbs. Yeah, it, it joins words, verbs, all right, um, ideas, Johnny also. Okay. All right. Anything. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you can join about anything. La diferencia, digamos, es which conjunction you're going to use to convey the right meaning, right? If you want to say, like, give two choices, for example, you're not going to say, teacher, do you like coffee and tea? No, because you're giving me two choices, right? You're going to say, teacher, do you like coffee or tea? Ah, okay. All right, yeah, but you can, I mean, pretty much with conjunctions, you can um, link anything as long as you follow the pattern and as long as you use it correctly. 
Okay. Excellent, Joni. Thank you. All right. Anybody else with questions? No? Wow, guys, you're great. I want I have a question for you. Hold on. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I want someone to give me an example. Bueno, no sabe que todos ahorita y todas. Escribamos one example using the conjunction nor. All right, porque sí existe y sí está. Okay, que no lo usamos mucho es otra cosa, but you need to know how to use it. Teacher, pero ¿por qué no es tan usada? O sea, ¿cómo se reemplaza? Lo que pasa es que la reemplazamos. Ni. Generalmente la, la reemplazamos usando el and. Fíjese, ya, lo, ya vamos a ver los ejemplos, ya lo voy a explicar cómo. Uh -huh. okay. Es como más formal o más seria, Mariano. And we're happy people. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how. No, no idea. <laughs> ah, ok. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Ah, ok. Yo vi, Carly, yo vi Vane cuando le hizo así de, ay, no, no. <ríe> ok, me van avisando. Teacher. Hola. Yesterday I said... One sentence with nor. I mean, again, the sentence. Uh, Johnny, so, solo lo reviso. <laughs> okay. Um, neither I study math nor I understand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Y, y estaba bien, de hecho. That's why now that you told me again, I remember that you said it yesterday. Y está súper bien. Lo que pasa que estamos usando neither nor. Pero ahorita el fanboy solo ocupa nor, no neither nor. All right, okay. eso lo van a ver después, pero está súper bien, Johnny, all right. Solo que ahorita solo necesito nor, sin el neither. Teacher, that's okay. Say, I don't like it of this flower, nor the pacaya. Very good, Dori. Yes. All right. And I agree with you. I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. Aha, uh -huh. Dori ya empezó. A ver, who else? Mariano, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. I don't like play tennis nor golf. Ah, all right, very good. Okay, Daniel, get ready. Tell me, Daniel. Okay, uh, the English is complicated, nor I need learn. Otra vez, Daniel. The English is complicated, nor I need learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, dejémosla ahí en pausa, en stand by, Daniel, all right? <laughs> okay. okay. All right, let's see. Yes. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, Manuel. I don't want to go to the club nor the bar right now. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, nice. Thank you. Another Thank one. You. A ver. Hey, teacher. Yes, Johnny. I don't like papaya nor pipian. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes, Johnny. Another one. Ever, yo sé que ahí la tiene ya lista, Ever. Tell me. Okay, call me, please, teacher. Okay. Um, okay. I prefer listen, listen, rock and roll, nor 80s music. Again, Ever, se le cortó al inicio. I prefer listen, rock and roll, 
nor 80s music. Mm, okay. La vamos a dejar en stand-by, Ever. All right, me acuerdo. Daniel y Ever. Vamos a ver, another one. Los chicos y chicas que tienen su camarita apagada, no sé si pueden participar. So you guys can tell me. No, nobody. ¿Qué pasó? Teacher. Yo, teacher. Teacher, eh, I, I confuse and the fan boys. Excuse me, Leti. I, I confuse in, stand, in fan boys. Okay. All right, we're going to see that, Leti. Very good. Okay. Teacher, can I say, he doesn't yes. like to eat Loroco and I ignore too. Tell me again, Vani. He doesn't like to eat Loroco and I nor too. Ah, okay. All right, pongámosle en stand-by, Vani. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. A ver, Roberto, yo sé que ya la tiene, Roberto. I know, tiene la carita que ya la tiene. Okay. Um, I don't have time to rest nor do my homework. Oh, all right. Espero que eso no sea cierto, Roberto. It's only a, a sentence. Oh, very good. Only an example. All right. Very good. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Roberto. That was very well done. Okay. Entonces, nos fijamos. Your sentences are negative. All right. Pero voy a retomar la de Roberto porque es la que la acaba de decir. I don't have time to rest, nor I have time to do homework. All right. Entonces, el nor la ocupamos para unir dos oraciones negativas. Ok. Yes. Ahora, en el caso de Vane, ahí lo que usted está tratando de hacer o decir, Vane, es, por ejemplo, eh, o dígame la otra vez, solo para recordarle. He doesn't like to eat Loroco and I nor to. Ok. En ese caso, Vane, usted, el, lo que nos queda mejor ahí, he doesn't, like, he doesn't like Loroco, neither do I. Cuando usted dice neither do I, usted dice yo tampoco. All right. Ahora, en el caso del nor, si usted fija, es la misma, um, es como va la misma persona, por decirlo así. He doesn't like to eat Loroco nor chicharrón. All right, okay, yes. So it's like another option. All right, but you are saying negative sentences. Uh, regresando, Daniel, tell me your sentence. La que tenía. Okay, the English is complicated, nor I need learn. Okay, all right. Entonces, digamos que la estructura es tener dos oraciones negativas. Negativas, ah, oh, ok. Tengo I don't positiva. like English, nor I want to learn it. Me gusta y no aprender. Ok. Ok. All right, very good. Ever, regáleme su oración otra vez. No, teacher. Hello. Teacher, yo estaba más perdido que las cabras de Heidi, porque yo la estaba diciendo <risa> lo positivo. Si gusta ver, haga otra para ver si ya. Le hago otra. Okay. I don't like. Um, let me see. I don't like a certain music nor reggaeton. Okay. Uh huh. Very good. Yes, a ver. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. All right. Entonces regresando a la cuestión que nos hacía Mariano y entonces por qué no están no la usamos tanto, porque generalmente decimos, I don't like to study English because I don't like it. All right. Entonces lo sustituimos por otra conjunction. All right. Usually we do that. That's why it's not so common. Y digamos que no hablamos así. All right. So we tend not to use nor, but it's necessary to understand it. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. 
Uh, let's see. Just going to, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta o estamos ya bien y podemos seguir con los temas. We're fine. All right. Yesterday, igual, we were talking about appetite, appetizers, starters, drinks, desserts. We were talking about main dish or main course. We were talking about food. All right. So uh, let's see here. Cleaning. Excuse me. Can you tell me one appetizer or one starter that you like, Trini? En eso nos quedamos allá revisando qué nos gustaba. Trini? Repeat, please. Yes, tell me one starter or one appetizer, Trini. Start. Um, consomme soup. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Very good. Uh, Bismar, tell me your favorite dessert. Yo también. No, Bismar. Sorry, what is dessert? Ah, dessert, for example, is cake or chocolate cake or, um, uh, cheesecake or lemon pie, I don't know, something. Any ideas, Bismar? What is your favorite dessert? Uh, no, it's cherry. I have no understand. Okay, all right, that's okay. A ver, Walter, tell me your favorite dessert. My favorite dessert is cheesecake. Cheesecake, yeah, very good. All right, Vane, your favorite drink? Mm, my favorite drink is grape soda. <laughs> oh, very nice. All right, very good. Let's see, Domingo, what is your favorite drink? Uh, the dream, my dreams is probably is ice cream. Ice cream. I see. Oh, okay. All mm -hmm. right. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Let's continue here. Okay, guys. So let's go back now to your books. All right. So we have this. Eso es lo que estábamos ayer. Page 13. Teach, teacher. Hola. My in my course is my course in butifarra. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice inglés? Sí. Ay Dios. <laughs> um, I don't Esta... know. Teacher. Dentro entre los humbu. Yeah, but I don't know exactly. I think it's a proper name. We wouldn't change it. Teacher. Entonces. Uh, uh, in this case, is the Butifarras is the is the group the sausages. Yeah, sausages. Yes. All right. So sausage is like chorizos, right? But in that case, Butifarra, I don't know, or however you call it, I think it's a okay, a proper okay. Name. Yes, very good. Okay, very nice. All right, guys. So here we have. It says, eso lo hicieron ayer igual pensando in your favorite one. Add one of your favorite items to the categories above. And in pairs, ask about the items in your classmates list. All right, let's see. Now, let's do number five, your turn. Working groups and organize a menu from a fast food restaurant in your city. The menu needs to have five categories. Appetizers, snacks, main course, dessert, and drinks. All right. Now, ideally, each category should feature three or four items. Entonces, we are going to go to your groups, and you guys are going to organize a menu. Ojo, dice fast food restaurant. All right. So that means McDonald's, that means Pizza Hut, that means um, Pollo Campero, el pobre de ayer sufrió. 
Ahora, no, me, no hablamos de restaurantes donde no se consume fast food. All right, only fast food restaurant. But in your menu, van a incluir estas, estas cinco categorías. Appetizers, snacks, main course, dessert, and drinks. Y por cada category, all right, van a tener three or four items. Okay? Yes, guys, do you understand? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. La idea es que lo logre hacer en su computadora para que cuando regresemos acá podamos proyectar su menú. Okay? Yes? Yes, guys? Okay. All right. El, el fast food restaurant, usted lo escoge ahora. Yo no le voy a decir de cuál fast food restaurant va a hablar. You choose the one, okay? Okay, guys, vamos a ver. A las, son 20 a las 9, 19 a las 9. A las 9 los voy a sacar. Tienen suficiente tiempo y Johnny ya habilité para compartir pantalla, Johnny. Johnny siempre me regaña, it's my fault. A ver. Seven groups. All right, guys, let's go. A ver, solo déjeme ver algo. All right. No. Okay, now let's go. Ahorita la uno de vía al grupo porque creo que estaba se había salido. Voy, Debbie, voy. Solo estoy viendo ahí para poderla unir. Bismar and Leti. Ya, Let, Bismar ya se fue. Leti se va a unir a su grupo. Ahorita, teacher. Ok, perfecto. All right, very good. Ah, que no me sale. Sí, es que se la debe cerrado. No me sale para unir. Sí, se le ha de haber cerrado porque como por, va por tiempito. Ahorita voy. A ver, Debbie, ahorita la mando. A ver, Debbie. A ver, Leti, la voy a volver a ubicar a otro grupo. Ok, teacher. Hola, Vicky. Ya, yeah, thank you. Mire si ya le salió. Hola, Vicky. Le salió Leti. Hola Vicky, ¿me escucha? Vicky. Teacher, dice que no sé por qué en la computadora me da problemas. Cuando me pasa al grupo, ya no me deja hablar, no sé. Entonces ya me conecté en el celular, ya no me puede volver a meter. ¿Con quién está? En la, en la dos, me había puesto. En la, la dos, dos sí. Ajá. Ahorita. No sé por qué me da problemas. <ríe> no se preocupe, vale. Gracias. ¿Viene ahora?
Vicky. Hola, Joana. Teacher. Hola, Joana. Este, ¿Me podría agregar al grupo, por favor? Estaba en la sala 7. Ahorita. Vaya, ahorita, permítame. Ok. Vaya, Joana, ya. Ok, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Hola, Vicky. Va de viaje. Hola, teacher. Sí, Hola, no he llegado a casa, pero ya casi en unos minutos. Ay, Vicky, no se preocupe, tranquila. Gracias, teacher. Bueno.
All right, everybody is coming back now. Hi, Johnny. Hi, teacher. Do you like Carao? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? You yes. like Carao? Yeah, I do. But we have, we, have a, we have an excellent area. Oh, very nice. You know what? Oh. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> so, paso, paso, paso. Ah, interesting. I know. No, Yoni, you don't like Carao? No. Okay. I do. It sniff well. It smells bad. <laughs> well, don't smell it. Just drink it. <laughs> it smells bad. Oh. All right. Very good. I'm going to take attendance right now. Y luego empezamos a compartir pantalla. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. All right, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Sandra Montano. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Ay, José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Julio César Vega Aguilar. ¿Dónde está Walter? No está. All right. Uh, Dinora, a uh, mi perdón, dos Dinora. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez, le cambié el nombre. Teacher, come on, present. I'm sorry. Victoria Lucía Vázquez Juárez. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present. Excellent, guys. Hoy estamos todos súper bien y todas. Excellent. All right. Ok. Igual recuerde, lo siento, ¿verdad? Que moleste tanto con eso, pero recuerde que el mayor tiempo posible que tenga la cámara encendida, please, acuérdese que es requisito. All right. So please do that. All right. Let's see. Let me check here, guys. We have group one, Ever, Johnny, and Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Are you ready to present your screen? Thank you. Oh. It's a hot menu. Okay. So you tell us. Igual, si gustan, vayan leyendo cada quien un poquito, so everybody participates. Me first. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, appetizers. 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 Uh -huh. Garlic bread. Sí. Sticks or palitroques. Okay. Sampler and mega sampler. <laughs> okay. Uh, little not. Oh, all right. Okay. Now, so I have an observation. Garlic bread and palitroques ya están. All right. So the idea was supposed to have something new. Oh. 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 Oh.
the snacks, aha, tell us. Sure. <laughs> snacks, nachos, friends, fries, rice, ring, rings of onion. onion. All right, in este caso le pueden dar vuelta y poner onion rings. Very nice. Okay, main course, aha. Uh -huh. Ever? Okay, main course. Caesar salad. Pizza in their different types. Uh -huh. Lasagna. Uh -huh. Combo. All right, what about the desserts, Johnny? Okay, cheesecakes, three milks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know in English, tres leches. Yeah, acuérdese que si es nombre propio no lo cambiamos, pero está bien. Uh -huh. uh, flan. Uh -huh. Pudding. Bra pudding. Pudding, P-U-D-D-I-N-G, pudding. Ah. Pudding, yes. Uh -huh. Con G al final. Brownies uh -huh. and lemon pies. Oh, nice. All right. Drinks. Soda. Mm -hmm. Lemonade. Y coffee. Horchata. ¿Dónde está el carajo, Ever? <laughs> the carajo. No, this is only the idea. Ah, only Pero, the okay. 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 No, no, no sabíamos que teníamos que incluir un, un, un nuevo menú. All right. Pero de haberlo sabido, le hubiéramos puesto uno nuevo completo. Okay. Patentar lo quiere, por eso no quiere decir nada. All right, that's okay, that's okay, thank you. Let's see here. What about group number two? Ajá. Uh -huh. Who was in the group number two? Ahorita les digo, creo que era Trini, Trini, Jorge, and Vane. Sorry, teacher, pero así lo voy a mostrar. No sé si lo alcanzo. Ah, bueno, a ver. Es que chibrico, yo lo veo, creo. Es, es que no me funciona el, la computadora. ¿O sabe qué puede hacer? Tómele una foto y mándelo al grupo de WhatsApp, porque así yo lo puedo hacer más grande. Espere, que vean. No hay mucho. Por ahí lo ven. Sí, 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 hoy sí. Bueno. Ok. New starter. We choose consume soup. Ah. Uh -huh. From Mr. Don. Ah, uh, Mr. Don. Charlie Breck. Uh -huh. And Matt. Yeah. Dini. Trini for snacks. Nachos. Uy. Mm -hmm. Es que ya lo... Te dije. Onion ring uh -huh. and chicken patties. Patties, yes. And ceviche, no sé. Ceviche, yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Main course with white roast meat. Delicious mm. and bread chicken. Bread chicken. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh. Dessert, donut, drinks, and pudding. Okay, all right. And drinks, coffee, orange juice, and cappuccino. Cappuccino, all right, perfect, thank you. All right, let's see here. Uh, Sala tres, Domingo, Carla, and Linda. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, Ahí disculpe mi mala ortografía. No importa. Uh, 
Okay. Se ve bien. Ajá. Se ve o no, no logro ver si las tengo ampliadas. Se ve, se ve. ¿Por dónde? Sí se ve, Domingo. Ok. ¿Está bien ahí? Sí, Domingo. Sí. Ok. Eh, Wendy's. Eh, menú. Appetizers. 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 Eh, green sal. Green sal. Sal. Eh, oh, maíz. Potatoes. Cheers. And meat. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. Snacks. French fries. Chocolate cookies. Um, baked potatoes. All right. All right. Chunk. Okay. French fries, chocolate cookies, and baked potatoes. All right. Main course. Main course, big hamburger, wraps green in the nuggets, hamburger, three meats. Mm -hmm. Desserts. Dessert. Pastries. Apple. Okay, apple pie. Apple, apple pie. Uh -huh. apple. Apple. Sí, apple, apple pie. Apple. 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 Okay, and what about drinks? Lemon tea, mm -hmm. soda, um, lemonade pink. Yeah, pink lemonade. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Domingo. All right, we're going to listen to the other group, if you stop sharing. Excuse me. All right, thank you. All right, group number four, it would be Carlos, Bismar, and Walter. Okay, um, uh, the restaurant is La Palma, and with uh, a basic uh, nachos with cheese or beans. Okay. And caramel, caramel side, onion, and oh. french fries. Oh, nice. Okay. What about snacks, guys? The other guys? Snacks, mango, we have sauces. <laughs> okay. Fritz platans, hot dogs. Okay, fried platines and hot dogs. All right, main course. You want to eat? Oh, no. Chicken uh -huh. <laughs> soup. <laughs> okay. Uh, roaster chicken and fish soup. Oh, nice. Okay. Dessert. And these are uh, pudding and uh, rice with milk, tiramisu, is killing brownie, uh, minuta, <laughs> and ice cream. Oh, nice. I like it. Very good. And drinks. And drinks we have horchata, cebada with milk, arrayan drinks, uh -huh. limone, orange juice, national beer. <laughs> All right, okay, very good. Yes, Thank you. All right, very good, nice. Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's listen to the other group. It's group five, Debbie, Manuel, and Mariano. And then we have two more groups after that. Okay, teacher. Sure. Oh. Hey. ¿Lo comparto yo o lo compartes tú, Mariano? No, tú, yo no lo tengo en la compra. Ok, ahorita lo comparto. Sorry. Bismarck, si me ayuda a dejar de compartir para que Manuelito pueda compartir pantalla. Ahorita. <risa> eh, excuse me. Watch, watch the see my screen. 
Yes, I can see your screen. Yes, Manuel. Okay, it started. Oh, sorry. The 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 restaurant is Pizza Hut. Okay. It started. It started. It's garlic noodle. Noodle. Noodles. Okay. Garlic bread. Uh huh. Pali crocker, buffalo green wings, and cheese steak. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry for bad, bad, bad right. But it's snack, not, okay. That's okay. Okay, a snack is noodle garlic, bread garlic, vegetarian salads, fish stick. Excellent. And, and potato fry. Oh, all right. Main course is meat lover pizza, <laughs> lasagna chicken, pasta, pasta alfredo, Hawaiian pizza, and vegetarian pizza. Oh my goodness, now I'm hungry again. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And the dessert is apple pie, three milk, cheesecake, mm -hmm. an apple pie, mm -hmm. chocolate pie, and pudding. Pudding, very good, nice. Thank you. And the drinks? And, and drinks is lemon tea, Jamaica tea, coffee, soda, and French horchata. I, I don't know si, that, that I don't know say uh, right is French horchata or horchata French. Um, horchata. De hecho, yo solo lo hubiera dejado con horchata. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Excellent, Manuel. Very good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Extra, I mean, group six, it's Claudita, Daniel, Doris, and Leti. Okay. Sorry. Eh. Quiero, aquí está. Sorry. No, that's okay. 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 Thank you. Ya dejé oh. convertir, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya. Eh, ya. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Pizza Hut. Can you see? Yes. Yeah, okay. Appetizer. Bread with garlic, tomato soup, potato soup, green salad. A snack. Mini cheese ball, barbecue wings, pali trocas, mm -hmm. stick with cheese, mm -hmm. main course, different kind of pizza, Alfredo pasta, pizza calzone, tuna bacon salad, desserts, ice cream, different flavors, cheesecake, pudding, apple pie, drinks, lemonade, iced tea, coffee, and soda. Excellent, very good guys. Excellent. Yo creo que conocemos muy bien Pizza Hut. <laughs> Everybody here, right? Everybody. Okay. Thank yes. you. <laughs> All right. The last group is the no. It's Joana, Gaby, and Roberto. Hola, teacher. Okay. La esquinita del sabor. Oh my goodness. Okay. Starters, French fries with cheese sauce, mm -hmm. onion ring, mozzarella sticks. Tendré pesadillas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hungry. Yeah. Snacks, fruit salad, pretzel, beef jerky. Oh, nice. And my curse, a chicken sandwich with fries, chicken burger with onion rings, and hot dog. In this shirt, we have a cheesecake, banana split, carrot cake, and brownie. And finally, if you want drink, we have chai tea, green tea, and soda. Oh my goodness, very good, guys. I like it. Very nice. Just give me a second. All right, perfect. You know what? Lo voy a decir en público. Tenían razón, no eran nuevos. All right, por eso todos lo hicieron así. Yo estaba mal. Esta es la otra fida. <laughs> Me estaba adelantando. All right, very good. Pero está super bien. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Let's see. We're going to continue here with your book anyhow. Okay, so we did this. Number five and number six is finished. So now let's continue with the next page, page 14. We still keep on talking. Well, the whole book is talking about restaurants, okay? So here we have, I will be able to. Let me see here. Vamos a ver. Claudi, can you read? I will be able to. Donde dice describe, Claudita.
No, Claudia, no. Ah. Excuse me. ¿Dónde, teacher? Le dice, I will be able to. Ahí. Si no la veo, lo voy a tomar de mi libreta. Ah, ok. Igual lo voy a hacer más grande ahorita. No sé si la veo mejor ahorita. Sí, sí, gracias. Okay. Bueno. Eh, eh, let start what word you do. Introduce a new menu item. What do you, what do you think about giving free samples of new products? All right, thank you. All right, so I will be able to, let's see, I describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu. All right, hoy sí vamos con el nuevo item. Ya me había adelantado en mi cabecita. All right, number one, let's start. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Okay, now, here we're going to read like new like new ways to introduce a new item on the menu all right number two uh let me see Vamos a ver qué me va a leer ahorita. carlos eduardo can you read number two read the following strategies hey teacher The, let's start the restaurant industry. Oh, el, el dos, el dos. Okay. Read the following strategy to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategies. Yes. You will consider implementing. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. All right. So it says read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategy you would consider implementing, all right? What I want you to do is I want you to think, if you had a restaurant or if you were the owner or the manager, how would you introduce a new menu item? Maybe a new drink, maybe a new appetizer, or maybe a main dish. I mean, um, or some other things like appetizers, starters, all right, desserts. What would you do? A ver, antes de leer, I want you to tell me what what would you do to introduce a new, oops, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? A ver, Debbie, piense en un restaurante X, usted es la dueña o la gerente de, all right, y van a, a poner un nuevo dessert. What would you do? What would you do? What would be your strategy, Debbie? I don't know. <laughs> you have to think, Debbie. Si no le quitan el trabajo a Debbie. Uh -huh. um, good prices. Okay, you would have good prices. Okay, on the new product. Okay, very good. Ya ves, salpo. Yeah, Debbie, very nice. All right, let's see. Uh, Daniel, you are the owner of a restaurant, okay? And you are bringing in a new main dish for the menu. How would you go about it? How do you introduce this new item? I, I will give him free samples to, to the clients for tasting the new, new dish. Okay, so you would give samples away. All right, very nice. Ever and Johnny, you were thinking about that new Carao eh, Gaseosa, right? Drink, soda. How would you introduce it? Imagine a Pizza Hut with the new Carao um, soda. How? How would you introduce it? I don't know. We use the 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 what? Uh, we use the network. Network, yes, yes. All right, Johnny. To the, to the people, huh? Yes, we say 
the the smell is is good in this moment. Oh, carao soda. All right. Mm. You don't have the smell anymore, Johnny, because todo el proceso de la gaseosa se le fue el carao smell. Yes, this is the idea. Ah, right. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Vani. You are the owner of this restaurant, and you are bringing in a new um appetizer. What how what would you do to advertise it? How would you introduce it, Bunny? Publish a promotion in uh, social media and do how do you say concurso? A contest. Contest. Ah, okay. All right, nice. I like it. Roberto, you're introducing a new beer on the restaurant, Roberto. So it's not Pilsen it anymore. All right, so how would you introduce the new beer? How? Uh huh. How would you introduce uh, to present to the public the uh, new drink? Uh, maybe it uh, gives samples to, uh, for clients. Pero le va a hacer cola. <laughs> <laughs> a small samples. The smallest, the small samples, right, Roberto? <laughs> like a shot. Oh, no. Okay, that's too big. All right, let's see. Doris, what about you are bringing in a new dessert? What would you um, bring? Make, advert make, advert I make advertising. Mm -hmm. This pronouns. Yes, advertising, yes. Uh, make advertising advertising and free free samples too. Free samples. All right. Okay. Very good. Now let's share this here, the book. Let's continue. All right. So here we have these uh, strategies. All right. Let me see. Um, Carlita, can you read the strategies, please? Number two. Yes, solo es las que están en el cuadro, Carla. Okay. Uh, add new items to your website. Ajá, sí, pero todas, Carlita, perdone. Todas las ah, okay, que okay. okay, next. Use social network sites to share the information about your new product products. Advertise the products in the white space of the recipes. Recipes? Uh-huh. Receipts, uh -huh. Okay. Hit a promotional offer that includes the new items to customer after a recent visit. Okay, thank you. All right, so here we have some strategies. Provide free food samplings on your new products add new items to your website, use social network sites to share the information about your new products, yeah, advertise the products in the white space of the receipts, give promotional a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. Now, you need to check the box Next to the strategy, you would consider implementing. What would you do? Number one, two, three, four, or five. Mariano, which one is the best strategy for you? Uh, my, for me, the best strategy is provide free food samples of the new product. Oh, all right. Very good. Linda, what about the best strategy for you? Ouch. Add new items to your website. Okay, very good. Johnny, what would you do? What is the best one from this, from this box? Uh, uh, include include the, the carao soda in a hot combo. Free. <laughs> okay, all right. Pero de esos que están aquí, Johnny, from the ones that we have here on the, on the chart? Advertise the products in the white space of the receipts. Of the receipts. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, guys, let's see. We are going to work on this exercise three. 
These are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. All right, so you need to read this. You need to read this. It says what actions, what action or change will happen? Who will carry it? When will it take place? And for how long? What resources are needed to carry out change? Or communication, who should know what, okay? So here, these are examples of the steps in action to plan to introduce a new product to the menu. Now, here you have number the following steps of an action plan, all right? So here are the steps and here are the um, definitions, let's say. So you guys have to work on that. All right, so you decide. En los grupos vamos a decidir cuál es A, which one is B, which one is C, D, and E. All right. Eso, en eso vamos a trabajar ahorita. Okay, guys? All right, let's go then. Vicky y Bismarck, ya los agrego. Eh, Bismar, ¿usted ya estaba en algún grupo antes? Eh, ahora. ¿Hace un ratito? Sí, sí. ¿En cuál estaba? ¿Se recuerda? En el de Walter y no sé cómo se llama, el otro compañero. Ah, el grupo 4, Carlos Eduardo, ahorita. Ok. Vicky, la voy a unir a otro grupo, a un grupo, oye. Thank you, Vicky. ¿Cómo está el clima por allá, Vicky? No le oigo, Vicky. Un poquito, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Ahorita la mando.
Hola, Manuel. Hola, Manuel.
All right, guys, let's see. I'm going to share my screen and let's talk about these steps. All right, Mariano. For um for letter B. You're supposed letter? To, letter B. Number the following steps of the action plan. All right, from these um choices, which one is the first choice for you? The first choice for me is letter C. And I will take the place for long. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about yeah. the rest of you guys? What do you have for number one? Letter C. Also? Letter C. Yeah? Letter C. Okay. C. All right. Very good. What about next one? What would it be? D. B. 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 Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Very yeah. good. Uh, next one. D. D. Okay. What resources are needed? Okay. After that one, so we have C, B, D, and then? E. E. Okay. So the communication, we should uh, know that. And then the last one is what action or change will happen? A. Yeah. All right. A. Very good. So we had C, B, D, E, and A. Now, let's look at this one right here. From these steps, which one is first? Let's do letter B. Number one is the chef create the receipt. Mm. Because the manager, the, manager, the manager require extra foundation for this project. <laughs> mm. It's the first step. All right. I think this is the number one is the chef create the receipt because the uh -huh. chef is the chef is is how 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 the drink is toast. How is the close of the drink? Okay, all right. So what about the rest of you guys? What do you think? What would be number one? The chef or the manager or the drink? What do you say? Manager. The manager. The manager. 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 All right, let's see. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't close this. All right. Let's go back here. All right, so here it says, estamos debatiendo en dos. The manager requests her extra funding for this project. The drink is made with the herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Or the chef created the recipe for the drink. The manager approved of it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Seguro que una de esas es. Okay. Y lo veo desde el punto de vista de producción. <laughs> Creo que sí. Sí, porque vaya, el chef va a crear la, 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 la receta. Sí. Uh -huh. Y va a saber cuánto es el, ver cuánto es el costo. Perdón que lo esté diciendo en español, güey. Uh -huh. It's now the cost of the drink where, where the chef knows the cost of the drink. Uh -huh. Y the, the manager re, eh, re, request, the request, money. request the money. Yes, request the money. And the next step is I don't know, uh, I've got time I've got in work and stuff. Mm -hmm. And when, when the restaurant or the manager, how it goes, it can, it can put the price on the menu. Okay. And where the drink is in the menu, you can sell to the client. So, so, viéndole desde el punto, viéndole desde el punto de vista administrativo, va a ser un poco de lo que yo tengo experiencia. A ver, Daniel, 
So a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. That's the last one. Mm, the, this is no. the first one. I no, think no, this no, is the first. No, 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 I no, the think last this one. is the first one. The first one. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. The new drink is coming out. All right. And after that, mm. the drink will be uh, available during the Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Then the chef created the receipt for mm. the drink. Okay. El, el uno, si es, is the, the last one. A new drink is going to be introduced. But what about number two? Creo que no sería esa, Debbie. The chef created the recipe for the drink, the manager approved of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Very good, yes, Vane, thank you. That would be number two. So what is number three? The drink will be oh, available. Uh-huh, what do you guys think? No, that's the last one. <laughs> the rest of you guys, what do you think? We have number one and number two. The manager requests extra funding for this project. So, the drink is made with her somewhat. And number three. Uh huh. I think that's number three. What would be number four? Advertising board. Advertising board. Advertising board. That would be number four. And then the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. That would be the last one. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Ahora, Daniel's point of view also made sense. All right. I even depend on how we see it. But according to the book and everything, that would be num like, yeah, that would be the um the steps to follow. All right. Okay. Let's see, number four and number five, we're going to work on tomorrow, all right? So number four says, in pairs, use the steps above as an example to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant. Ahora, yo quiero que hoy en la noche piensen, sueñen con el nuevo producto que van a presentar en ese restaurant, all right? So, all right, so what I want you to do is I want you to think about one new product. I see, can we exist? Excuse me, Evan. No, we are, we are a team with, ah. with Johnny. <laughs> well, today you were a team. I don't know, tomorrow, all right? But yeah, <laughs> so I want you to think of a new product that you are going to be introducing to the, the menu of a fast food restaurant. And I want you to start thinking about the steps. So tomorrow, when you come in, ustedes van a empezar a escribir, similar al ejercicio que acabamos de terminar, four or five steps on how is the process, okay, for you. Not for the company like itself, but it's for you and your partner, okay? And then, let me just see here. I'm just gonna share it again. All right, and then we're going to present the action plan to the class, all right? So igual que ahora, mañana vamos a trabajar en laptops, all right, if you have them available. Siempre ahí, si no, si no tenemos una disponible, entonces en papel y lápiz le tomamos foto y lo subimos al WhatsApp. All right, se arregla, no se preocupe. All right, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Tomorrow, solo antes de, tomorrow we're going to start with could and might. All right, those are these um, model verbs that we're going to be studying. All right, we have studied this before the good to make suggestions, all right, and the might, okay? Now, remember that they are formal. Might is a little bit more formal than could. So to make suggestions, we're going to study this. And of course, we're going to read this conversation where they are applying the could and might. That's gonna happen tomorrow, all right? Voy a dejar de compartir aquí. 
¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Vamos avanzando. Yes, yes teacher. Oh. Yes. Very nice. Yes, teacher. Recuérdese que ya mañana es Friday, entonces mañana prácticamente Friday night. <laughs> habremos terminado Unit 1 y la terminamos precisamente usando el may, might, perdón, might and could. And then we finish Unit 1. Quiere decir que para el fin de semana, sábado, domingo, usted tendría que haber completado todas sus tareas de la primera unidad. All right, para que no se le vayan a ir acumulando ahí. Ok. Yes. All right. Yes. Guys. Ok. I don't know if you have any questions about, ya sea fanboys or anything about the menu or anything about any vocabulary that you may want to ask. Antes de que empecemos a tomar asistencia, o estamos bien. Yo tengo una duda, teacher. Dígame, Leti. Este, el, resta, el restaurante eh, podemos ocupar cualquiera. Sí. De comida rápida o lo tenemos que inventar. No, ahorita todavía no. Y en la unidad 2 nos toca inventar el restaurante completo y todo el menú y tal cual. All right. Vamos a hacer propaganda, vamos a dar samples of drinks. Del carao drink. All right. Así que Johnny, yo no sé cómo la va a hacer, pero hoy se la inventa. All right. Ah, well, where, where is the, the, the place of exposition? <laughs> yeah, no quieren. All right. Entonces, sí, ya para la, la unidad 2, acuérdense que la unidad 2, como les explicaba, se cubren dos semanas, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que solo son cuatro unidades, pero son cinco semanas de clase. Entonces, vamos a ir slowly but surely. Al final usted va a decir, bueno, ya tengo todo y puede ser un restaurante, ¿verdad? All right. Emprender aquí. The menu, the prices, the food. All right. Emprendedores en inglés, como se le dice. Ya, ya. Usted va a aprender inglés y no que uh, va a emprender con un restaurante nuevo. All right. So that's the whole thing. Así es que no, mañana eh, pensemos en un restaurante de comida rápida que ya exista. All right. Pero nosotros pensamos en un nuevo producto. Ah, el producto estrella ahorita es el carao soda. All right, so that sounds very fun. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance para que se puedan ir. Claudita, no sé si se puede, Claudita. ¿Se puede quedar un ratito hoy, Claudita? Yes, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Daniel, mañana le toca a usted. Yes, teacher. Excellent, all right. So we have Adela Trinidad González con suerte. Trini, Trini, no la vi, ahí está. Carlos, Present. Yes, thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlitos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present, teacher. Yes, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Uh, Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. All right. Um, Ever de Jesús Tandray Montano. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Manuelito. Hmm. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you, Victoria. I ah, don't know. Vicky Present. Dinora. No, no, no. Perdón, perdón. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Ya. Victoria, hoy sí, Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. 
Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Present teacher. All right, very good. Solo antes de retirarnos, todavía tenemos uno, uno o dos minutitos y no los puedo dejar antes, ir antes de las diez. All right, a ver, mañana, solo asegurarme, mañana le toca a Daniel quedarse conmigo un ratito, que es viernes. Debbie, le toca el lunes. Si gustan, apunten para que se programen con diez minutitos más después de clase. Debbie es el lunes, domingo le toca después en martes. Ever de Jesús, miércoles. Johnny, jueves. And Jorge Alfredo on next Friday. Ok. Que sería viernes. ¿Cuál sería la siguiente fecha? Si se me la olvidan ahí. Sería lunes, Monday, 28. Friday. Friday, 25. Y luego seguimos. La siguiente semana que sería. Monday, 28. Yes, thank you. Sería José Roberto, Carlita, Leticia, Linda, and Manuel. Que nos llevaría la fecha a cuál? ¿Te daré una fecha? Friday first, Manuel. Friday first, exacto, sí. Con Gaby vamos lunes 4. Uh -huh. Ajá, Mariano, martes 5. Vane, 6, miércoles. Vicky, jueves 7. Y Bismar, terminamos con Bismar el viernes 8. Y ahí nos vamos de vacaciones. Yeah. Y ya luego me quedan los otros chicos del final, que sería Walter. Julio, no sé, estamos en veremos. Doris, Victoria y Joana. Entonces vamos exactos, ¿verdad? All right, guys. Let's see. Thank you so much. Eh, los veo mañana, ok, so, sí, a new product. hola, Good night. Uh, where we can watch the recording, the recording of the class, eh, you can actually watch it, buddy, on the email they sent to you for the, when we began the classes, there is a link of YouTube, all right, ahí puede, mm. y ahí la, la va a redireccionar a nuestra lista, Porque obviamente hay creo que 15 grupos, entonces eh, uh -huh. les va a redireccionar a la lista que... Así es. Ok, thank you. Yep, you're very welcome. All right, guys, good night. Solo Claudia está haciendo... Good night. Bye now. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, rest. Hola, Claudita. Hello, teacher. Solo le quería decir algo por si hay momentitos que no es que me ausente, lo que sucede es que tengo a mi papá un poco mal de salud, entonces lo estoy con unas curaciones y por momentitos me verdad, así que va a disculparse en momentitos que no lo contesto porque estoy con, pendiente con él. Tranquila, Claudia, no te preocupes, si yo entiendo. Gracias por este, escucharlo. Está re, recién operada, entonces por eso ya es un señor de 83 años, o sea, hay que estar sí. un poco pendiente y se sí, que claro. disculpe. Sí, no, no, tranquila, Claudia, y gracias por comentarme, pero no se preocupe por eso, oye. Ok, eh, teacher, sí. I, I have a problem with a comparative adjective. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y bueno, me da un poquito de problema eh, comprender cuando llevan eh, R uh -huh. y uh -huh. cuando van a more. Sí. All right. A ver, Claudia, cuando el, el um, siempre voy a ponérselo así. Siempre que el adjetivo sea corto eh, de una sílaba, acuérdense que las sílabas en inglés son por sonido, no por escritura, como nosotros, ¿verdad? En español. Uh -huh. Pero siempre que su, por lo general, el adjetivo es corto, es de una sílaba. Entonces, a todos ellos, Claudito, se le va a agregar ER al final. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, yo le digo easy, easy, easier, ¿verdad? Pretty, prettier, fast, faster. ¿Ok? Ahora, como regla, lo, voy a, lo vamos a poner así, como regla, los que te, tienen nada más una sílaba, todos van a terminar con ER. 
La mayoría que tienen dos sílabas, también le voy a agregar ER, pero hay unos de dos sílabas que ya le agrego more. All right. Entonces, esos son los que nos dan un poquito de confusión, porque usted me puede decir, ajá, teacher, pero por decirle, um, pretty, como ya le dije, ¿verdad? Pretty lleva dos sílabas, pero usted no sí. dice more pretty, usted dice prettier. All right. Mm. Son como excepciones. Sí, all right. Famous. Famous también lleva dos sílabas, pero no nos sale si decimos famous, famouser. Entonces, en ese, a pesar que tiene dos sílabas, le voy a agregar more. More famous. Ok. okay. All right. More. Your time. El también. Más siempre more. se puede agregar a cualquiera. Ya sea un, un adjetivo corto o un adjetivo largo, siempre le voy a agregar dan, ¿verdad? Mm. Entonces, si es un adjetivo largo, por ejemplo, beautiful, usted va a decir she is more beautiful, le agrega more antes del adjetivo y luego sí. después del adjetivo le pone dan. Ok. Siempre, okay. eso no importa si es largo, corto, mediano, siempre le va a poner el dan. Eh. Y ahí no importa el tiempo en que lo estemos usando, ¿no? No, porque acuérdense no. que los adjetivos no llevan tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero usted dice, por ejemplo, ella era más bonita que yo cuando estábamos chiquita, ¿verdad? Por decir algo. Entonces uh -huh. dice, she was more beautiful. El verbo lleva el tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero el adjetivo no. Entonces ahí sería, she was more beautiful than me when we were children. Uh -huh. Ok. Y, y que piense que en la, en la tarea en la que estaba en el, en el ejercicio, no sé si tenía error la página, porque había unas que no se, se los agarraba, pero sin ponerle. Sí, tiene error. Ok. Tiene error. Ajá. De hecho, ayer preguntaba, creo que usted no entró ayer, ¿verdad, Claudita? ¿O cómo no? ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Pero estaba ahí, estaba. Sí, pero entonces en ese caso, yo las la hice sin eso. O sea, no se lo puse. Me dejó pasar, pero creo que está incorrecto. Sí, ¿verdad? exacto. Sí, ayer, de, de, de hecho, Ever me comentaba ayer de ese error, pero sí yo le explicaba que era error de dedo porque él de repente pensó que era, bueno, a veces sí, a veces no, ¿verdad? Pero no, no uh -huh. siempre. siempre. Es siempre. siempre. Sí. Ok. Y solo hay algo más de los fanboys. Eh, eh, hay unos como este, yet, yet, ¿en qué, en qué momento? No entiendo mucho esa palabra. Sí, fíjense que el yet es bien similar al, al but, que es pero, ¿verdad? Ahí va a depender de mmm, la traducción que usted le esté dando. Si usted lo traduce como pero o lo traduce como aún, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. puede decir, um, yo, por decir algo, yo me peleé o discutí con mi hermana, yet I love her, ¿verdad? Pero aún así la quiero, o sea, <ríe> all right, sí. entonces. Es, es un poco más formal que el but. Right. No se usa mucho, ¿verdad? Fíjese que no tanto. O sea, sí, pero quizás el but lo usamos mucho más. Sí, but. Okay. Igual que el nor. No sé si usted ya estaba cuando estábamos explicando el nor. Eh, sí se ocupa, pero no se ocupa tampoco mucho. Ocupamos los demás más. Sí, sí, porque sí casi no lo he escuchado yo. Así Ajá. no lo... Ajá, no sé, pues. Es como bien formal, bien serio, ¿verdad? Entonces, y lo ocupamos en dos negativas. Entonces, yo le digo, por ejemplo, I don't like fish nor uh, seafood, ¿verdad? No me gusta ni el pescado ni los mariscos. Okay. Es como decir, no, o, o, es, como, es un negativo. Sí, 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 que se ocupa en dos negativas. O sea, en la primera, cuando yo le digo, I don't like fish, nor um, seafood. Okay. Yeah. Para decirle, no me gusta ni el pescado, ni, la, ni los mariscos, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Cuando dice en la oración, dos veces algo negativo. Sí, prácticamente. Ok. okay. Está bien, teacher. Ahí ya me quedó más claro eso, porque sí, es como esa, no son muy comunes, no mucho uno. Los... No, tiene razón, de hecho, tanto, ajá. Vale. Y ya quizás lo último, con lo de la tarea que dejó, o sea, tenemos que hacer 
solo es prácticamente los pasos así como están ahí, pero de un nuevo producto, ¿verdad? No es en sí toda la, la empresa, sino que solo esos pero pasos. Producto, sí. De hecho, Claudia, ahorita solo quiero que piensen en un nuevo producto. Mañana en grupo pueden empezar a hacer los pasos. Ah, ok. Right. Está bien. Pero, ok, teacher. Vaya, Claudia, está bien. Thank you. Está mejor su papá. Gracias. Bueno. Good night. Good night, Claudia. Bye.